this was the breakfast haul this morning. We had to do we had to do another chocolate croissant, and we also got a ham and cheese croissant. So partied kind of hard last night. <laughs> So hard that I had to wash my hair. <laughs> I think that's funny, but um, anyway, so yeah, changing of plans and somehow maybe that's better. So my lovely companion and I, we had plans to, to go to the airport together, but my flight is actually significantly more early. So, um, we're going to have to say goodbye earlier than, than I would have liked. So I'm getting picked up in about an hour and until then I'm going to enjoy my London fog latte and, um, these gorgeous pastries. Okay. So, wow. Um, it, it, there's like each little sections and each little section is filled with deliciousness. Okay, so moment of truth here. Croissants. Amazing. So why why drip coffee? Isn't that amazing? It's the front door. One of them. It's been an ultra incredible fun weekend. And I'm excited to do this again sometime. Made it to the airport. It's great. I'd really love to say that I love, I love, I have a new airport favorite. I would love to say that, but let's talk about that in a second. Okay. So we made it through security. Cleansing breath healing breath, breath of love. I really want it to be in a space where we could jump into all the love lifestyle secrets. And right now I'm like, ah, I'm angry. I know my face wants to make it fun. I do. I want to make this fun. I want to have fun conversations. I want to talk about love. I want to talk about how being in big places can completely change your attitude about things. I guess we are kind of talking about this a little bit. I'm also having um, the rest of my snack from this morning. My gorgeous ham and cheese. I think it's Gruyere cheese. Croissant. So a nice little snack. Kind of makes it feel just, I don't know, like you are enjoying the process, giving yourself a moment to rest, digest, to let your body know that things are okay. Things are okay. Okay, well, I don't want to go through all of the nitty gritty details of airport fun, but... You know how security can be, and I should make a note to myself to not wear a snappable bodysuit next time I intend to go through the airport because everybody, everybody was so excited to. Anyway. We don't have to talk about that. I don't want to talk about that. Um, oh my gosh. What I wanted to talk about that I don't think that I could talk about until a little bit of context, and I'm hoping that's enough context. Sometimes it's fun to think about. No. You know what? I can't go there. I can't go there. It's kind of too triggering, and as much as I'm trying to make it as fun as possible. Once I got through security... Um, um, and the Denver, the Denver airport is incredibly big. So it's like big in the, in the, in the way that you have a train 
you get on a train inside the airport to get to your terminal where your gates are and um you know it's funny as soon as i got to my i'm at my gate now c55 and can we see um can you see that cleveland it's probably showing up backwards it looks backwards to me but you know what's kind of sweet is when i see cleveland <laughs> There's a part of my heart that just feels happy. And I think that kind of like this is a sign that, you know, it's home. It's home. If you don't feel that way and you want to feel that way, then that, that may be something worth exploring. But anyway, so I'm on the train. I'm on the train after feeling, I'm feeling very upset. And I'm, I have, I catch myself. I catch myself. This is one of our core tools, right? I notice that I'm in my head. So you, if, if you don't know until you notice, you don't know until you do, right? But I notice that I'm all up in my head and I'm trying, like, and I'm angry. I'm pissed. And, like, notice my posture, just like, and I'm like, like, how could I, you know, how can I take my revenge? <laughs> Full well knowing that, like, I don't know that it'll, you know, whatever, but I catch myself. I catch myself in that place where I'm trying to think through all the ways that I can get my revenge. I don't know. It's daydreams of a, a Scorpio. I don't know. But anyway, I notice myself doing this. And then, and then I have this shift moment where I, inner boy tool, where I, I speak to this part of myself, the thinker, and just call my inner thinker in this moment, my inner boy, trying to protect me. And, and then I just had this lovely exchange with myself, my, 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 my inner girl self, to have this conversation where she's saying, you know, thank you. I feel really taken care of. Thank you for, thank you, thank you for, I really feel how much you care about me. I really, you know, you would have, you know, that it's your full intention to avenge me. <laughs> and, you know, I still didn't feel entirely ready to let it go, but there was enough of a shift that I was able to shift inside of myself. My energy was able to shift just a little bit. And... Yeah, I mean, it didn't make everything better, but I'm more at peace. And I think that that is really important. So, boarding is supposed to happen in about about 10 minutes or so, if everything's on time. Um, I'm already feeling, I'm already feeling like I'm close to home, closer to home. I'm going to finish my, my ham and cheese croissant. And I may go pop into that um, store over there, take a look at all the goodies and be on the way home. And I'm sure we'll have a couple more conversations before we get all the way home. This has been a fun adventure, even with the terrible moments, even the terrible moments. Um, and I really believe that. So thanks for being on this adventure with me. I would love it if you love join the conversation be part of the love the love conversation here let's let's share our love lifestyle adventures together it looks like everything chat with me in the comments and i would love it i would love it if you shared this vlog with someone who is on their own love lifestyle journey and you can we can we can do it together i would i would love it if you shared with someone who you think would benefit from this adventure. If you're a woman who wants more fun, more connection, more romance, more joy in your life and relationships, make sure you're subscribed to my Love Lifestyle newsletters for tips, inspiration, and exclusive trainings at lovecoachnatalina.com.